In this lesson, we will look at careers in teaching physical education. The lesson will describe what a physical education teacher does, provide insights into exciting research, explain how to remain current in the field, describe settings in which physical educators teach, describe highly effective teachers, and provide information about career opportunities. Pedagogy or sport pedagogy is the study of teaching physical activity. Effective instructors understand their subject and know how to convey it in order for all students to be successful. Knowing what to teach and knowing how to teach are two skill sets required to be a successful physical educator. A person with a background in pedagogy will know how to get and keep their students' attention, how much time to spend talking versus students practicing, which methods will be successful for which skills, how to structure class so students have time to improve fitness, and how to motivate students to engage in physical activity outside of school. Careers for physical activity pedagogues include teachers in public and private schools, whether it be at the elementary, middle, or high school level, adaptive physical education, or as a curriculum specialist, coaches, which we'll also discuss in chapter 16, recreation leaders, or instructors at corporate fitness centers or community recreation centers. Areas of importance in teaching physical education include certification and continuing education. Certification in Texas requires graduating from an accredited teacher education program or alternative certification program and passing state certification tests. Research on effective teaching, so research on teaching is concerned with the scientific study of the processes of teaching and learning and is deeply rooted in what happens in the schools. Appropriate practice experiences for students, which should be activity and age specific. Active engaged learning time. Engaged time or time on tasks consists on the time that students spend during physical activity on sport. Unfortunately, engaged time has been low in many physical activity settings. In fact, pedagogy research has reported that students in traditional physical education classes spent only 30% of class time engaged in physical activity. Instead, they were spending 50 to 70% of their time waiting, transitioning, or managed by the teacher. Effective class management and discipline or with itness. Teachers must have a set of rules and schedules that students understand so they can be successful in meeting expectations. With itness is sort of like having eyes in the back of your head, knowing what is going on in all areas of the class at all times. Assessment. Effective teachers understand the importance of assessing student achievement. They use formative assessment to determine whether students are learning the content of a unit as it progresses. Then at the end of the unit, they use summative assessment to determine whether students have acquired the relative relevant skills and knowledge. Feedback. In addition to providing clear instructions, teachers must also provide clear, specific, and immediate feedback for learning to occur. And alternative curriculums, elective fitness, sports education models, wilderness and adventure education, social development, and teaching games for understanding are all important areas for teachers to have knowledge in. And finally, role conflict, burnout, and resilience. Teaching is a very demanding job and the rigors of teaching role must be managed on a daily basis in combination with other roles, such as coaching, a club sponsor, or committee membership. As a result, the ability to fill multiple roles while teaching physical education may determine your ability to perform the teaching role competently. Teaching expertise requires ongoing education, including reading and attending professional conferences and the implementation of research-based best practices into instruction. It also requires maintaining a good mental attitude, avoiding burnout and boredom. Physical activity has been linked with academic performance. Bang Su et al. in 2016 found students benefit in 21 ways from physical education. And 
A review by the American College of Sports Medicine found relationships between physical activity, fitness, cognition, and academic achievement. Some additional positive relationships with academic performance include cognitive skills and attitudes with basic cognitive abilities such as executive function, memory, attention, information processing, motivation, and self-concept. Academic behaviors, including on-task behavior, organization, planning, attendance, and emotional control, and overall academic achievement with test scores, formal assessment results, and GPA being improved with physical activity. The setting that you're working in plays a large role in your satisfaction as a physical educator. The work life of some physical education teachers is characterized by diverse activity and isolation from other adults. PE teachers generally do something different every day, but being a teacher means spending eight hours a day surrounded by only students. Teacher effectiveness is influenced by different differences between students. What works with one set of students, or one student even, might not work with another. The curriculum of physical education is very different from those of other subjects in space, activities, and relationships. There's not a lot of quiet in physical education and a lot of interaction between the students. Lack of teacher um, or program evaluation is common in physical education. Evaluation is often focused on areas that students do state testing within. Influences on life and work in physical education settings include political, organizational, personal, and social factors. For example, a school's economic conditions often influence what facilities and equipment are available to students and teachers. As a result, some students are able to offer a wide variety of curriculum opportunities for students, whereas other schools are more limited. In the school context, teachers' success and satisfaction are linked to many variables. Class size, for instance, has the potential to influence what material a teacher is able to cover, the amount of feedback that he or she can provide to an individual student, and the degree to which students have sufficient opportunities to practice. In addition, school policy may dictate how often students receive instruction or how they will be graded. Thus, the setting in which a teacher works can affect his or her career satisfaction and ability to teach effectively. There are many elements that go into being a successful physical education teacher. Using innovative instructional strategies and novel curriculums is one. Another includes integrating physical education with other subject matter. You also want to utilize unique ways to remote learning progressions. Your program should be promoted throughout the community and it's helpful to have supportive colleagues and administrators. Also important to teaching success is having adequate funding, displaying exemplary classroom management strategies, engaging in professional development activities, having opportunities for after school programs for students and adults, the ability to model athletic skill and fitness, and promote equitable learning settings. Shape America is the Society of Health and Physical Education. They have the following standards for physical educators. Standard one includes content and foundational knowledge. Standard two, skillfulness and health-related fitness. Standard three, planning and inclination. Standard four, instructional delivery and management. And standard five, assessment of student learning, concluding with standard six, professional responsibility. Looking at trends and opportunities in teaching physical education, prospects for finding employment are high. All the student teachers I have supervised in the field at HBU have found jobs. More schools are adding physical education to their curriculum. You can improve employability by acquiring as many skills as possible, including certification and coaching areas. Advice for physical education students includes never start, stop learning to teach. It's a lifelong process. Join professional associations. Start now with student membership. You could do SHAPE or SHAPE Texas. Remain current on research 
literature and strive to be your best. Try to become teacher of the year, state, or nation.